Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Casa de Geek, where I am going to be uh, fighting a very special uh, Glacial Geek Battle Report here of Speed Freaks. So we are going to be having the Glacial Gits versus the Burninators fighting it out here to see who will be the champion of our racetrack that we hear. We got to cross the finish line over here. Who can do it fastest? Who can do it most effectively? And uh, who can survive till the end is what it's going to come down to here. So... Uh, that's, uh, the, yeah, so it's going to be a very special battle report here. We're going to be using, uh, all of these cool, cool, cool wagons that we've got going on here. Oh no, they're not wagons. What are they no, called? They're, they're called, they're wagons. Oh yeah. The wagons that we've got going on here that are going to be a lot of fun to play with. So Harris has been, uh, very generous to bring all of his fun wagons to try this out and actually try the game. Cause we, you saw previously we did have a battle report where we played with his wagons against my Raven wing. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. You can check it out. It was fun. Uh, but now I wanted to see how the game actually went and we've done one game previously and it was a lot of fun. So hopefully it'll keep going that way. I think it'll be a good time. So, uh, so the story that we've got going on here is that we're just racing. That's the whole idea of this game is that you've just got a whole gotta bunch, go got to go fast. And we've just got a whole bunch of, uh, I think the story that they've got is this is taking place on Vigilus and it's all of the orc clans that are stuck outside of the void shielded cities that they can't get into and they're getting bored. So what they do, a whole bunch of orbital wreckage and they've just gotten bored. So they are racing through canyons and through different racetracks against each other, going fast, shooting each other, punching each other, crumping each other. That's how it goes as orcs do to keep themselves busy. So uh, we are going to be facing off two buggies against each other here. Uh, so I've got the uh, Mega Megatrack Scrap Scrapjet and the Boosta, what is it? Boosta. The Custom Boosta Blasta. So I've got those middle two. And then we've got the Shock Attack Shock, Shock Jump Dragsta and the Death Killer War Trike are going to be the ones that are going to be uh, facing off against each other. So those are going to be uh, uh, handled by Harris and the middle two are going to be handled by me. So this way it works is at the beginning of each round, you have 10 dice. Each of us have 10 dice. So Harris has the 10 uh, yellow dice. I've got these 10 red dice and you allocate them between cunning, speeding, speeding and shooting. shooting. Uh, and what happens is, is that at the beginning of each round, you roll your cunning dice that you allocated to it. Whoever has the most successes gets to choose who goes first in that round. Then they're going to have initiative going through. So then you move into the speeding phase. Whoever's going first uh, takes their dice that they allocated to speeding and they will allocate it even or uh, they can allocate it however they want between their uh, buggies. You then roll for those buggies and they determine how many gubbins you get to use. The gubbins are these little things. So each of them has a different way and it's basically uh, sort of like X-Wing where you, you, you make your path, you build your track and you build the path that they go along. And you have to try to make your way through this path to cross the finish line over here with the red barrels. Uh, but if you bang into anything like the different obstacles we've got in the way there or a wall, you can take damage as you go along. You're going to be shooting at each other. If you finish within a certain range of each other, you're going to fight each other. And it just goes along like that. So after I've done my movements, if, or so, so say I won initiative, decide to go first. I would roll, do my movements. Then Harris would do his movements. Then we'll do the shooting. And then uh, and the same thing. You've got the dice that you have on there. You allocate them between uh, the different... Uh, the different guys that you've got there. And then each of those dice, that however many dice you have there, you have to evenly allocate between all of the different guns that they have that can shoot. So if there's no one in your rear arc and you have a gun that only shoots in the rear, you don't have to worry about, you can ignore it. You don't have to put it onto there. But if you have two there on the front and you allocate two dice, you can't put two into one and none into the other. They have to both, they have to be split up evenly if you possibly can. So that's the basic premise of the game. You'll see as it goes along, as we do damage, we'll be drawing damage cards and We've got each of these guys has a different thing. So you got like crunch that just does one damage. There's other ones in there that do uh, different things like burning can catch you on fire. You can uh, lose range on your guns. You can steering wheel, steering come wheel comes off. The front fell off. There's a whole lot of really funny things that can happen here. Um, and basically we just have a whole bunch of um, different stats, different weapons that you can use and abilities. So as we go along, you'll see how this all goes. It should be pretty interesting. So that is the setup that we've got going on here. You now know the 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 boost the, the buggies that we're going to do. We're now going to do allocating of dice to show for uh, first round. 
All right, so showing off our dice allocation for round one. I chose two in cunning, four in uh, speeding, and four in shooting. Harris has done three in cunning, four in uh, speeding, and three in shooting. So uh, it should be pretty interesting. So now we're gonna roll off with our dice that we chose in cunning to see who has it. Lightning's uh, count is two, crosshairs count is one. So I got one and he got, th or I got two, two I got he got three. three. So he still wins, so he gets uh, initiative and can decide who will go first. Who do you want to go first? I am going to start with the death killer. All right, so he's going to choose himself to go first. So we will uh, come back with his dice allocation onto his vehicles. All right. all right, so he's actually going to put all four onto the death killer, trying to get him in the front there. So he now rolls to see how many he has here. Lightning's count is two, so he's going to have four gubbins that he can use. All right, so this is the path that he's going to run. Each There's two, three different types of gubbins that you can choose. You got your standard gubbins, special. you got your special gubbins, which have the two arrows, and then you got your snazzy, snazzy gubbins, which are these red ones with the three arrows. Uh, each vehicle can choose to use a snazzy gubbin once per game. So he's used his right off the bat here, trying to get off uh, right out into the lead here. So what happens is he places them down here, and he will travel along that whole path. So you pa you move him along that path as they go along, and he manages to avoid all of the different uh, obstacles that we had there and ends up right up there. So now once he's made that move, he now has to roll a driving test. So each uh, vehicle has a driving skill, which uh, in this case, he's got a nine. Uh, my guys all both have eights. And what happens is he rolls a D8, and he has to try to roll below that driving skill. But you add one for every uh, special gubbins that you do, and you add two for every snazzy gubbins. And if he had had any collisions or rammed, uh, you could add, you have to add to that too. So in this case, he's going to be rolling a D8 plus one, two, three, four. So four plus the this plus the dice roll. And he rolls an eight, so he is now spun out. So what happens is you roll a D8 again, and you spin out based upon this. So if he rolls a one, he's going to stay forward. Two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. So with a six, he's gonna be going three, four, five, six. He's facing backwards like that. So boom, that's where he ends up as he comes skidding around here. He just spins out at the end, facing back towards me over that way. So that is where he ends up with his speeding phase. All right, so I'm gonna put all four onto my Megatrack scrap jet over here. I think he's gonna stay back here and they're just gonna to try to punch each other and shoot each other. Should be a lot of fun. So here we go. We're gonna go with him in here. So he's got four dice to go there and I get two. So I've only got two gubbins that I can do. So we'll go with that. All right, so I went with two special gubbins here that are gonna shoot me up over this way. And as he goes along here, the, this guy just gets flattened. He's just the starter guy. <laughs> and then I end up right over here. Uh, but because I ran over that piece of scenery there, I'm actually going to have um, a collision. So is it two dice per collision? Two you dice. Uh, you're gonna do two into it, and I'm gonna do one into you. Oh, he's gonna do one into me. I'm gonna do two into it, so. We'll do, yeah, because I'm the rammer. So three. two into it. Oh, three, because I've got, uh, because it was the nose drill. So yes, yeah, so it takes damage, so it goes away. But then he does one into me, but no, which is nothing there. So, because uh, in an offensive roll, the, you want to get these, the lightnings. Um, these are always fails, which are explosions. And these are scrap, are only good for defensive rolls. So when you're making armor saves and stuff like that. So that's where I ended up there. Totally fine, which is great. I'll take that. All right, so we're gonna move into the shooting phase here. Um, so what's gonna happen is uh, Harris is, has the initiative, so he's gonna go and he's going to place, uh, allocate his three dice that he had. So he's gonna put one onto his war boss over here, and then he's gonna put two onto his shock jump dragsta. Uh, essentially what happens is then he'll divide those through his guns and go from there. So the, this little thing there is our arc determiner. So I'm actually over here outside of his front arc. He's in mine, but I'm outside of his. So he's, but I'm still in his left arc over here. So we are going to go with him first. So which one are you going to do first? I'm going to shoot the Snaga Claw, which is what I'm actually spending my okay. time on. Okay. He's going to use the Snaga Claw, but then because he's got riding shotgun, yep. 
Uh, he he gets to shoot free. his shotgun for free since he's riding shotgun. I do have to allocate a die to the model to do but that. But in order to do those free attacks, you do have to allocate it to and the model. So, so if he had put all three onto them, the free shot from the shotgun wouldn't happen. But uh, because he put the one onto him, he gets to do that. So what are we going to do first? We're going to do the uh, snag the snag a claw. He's going to shoot here because he's within eight inches. So, shots so it's going to be, two. he's got uh, shots too. So each weapon... We'll show you on this one. If you look there, each weapon has a uh, fire arc, range, shots, and damage. The shots determine how many dice you roll. If you happen to have multiple uh, multiple dice allocated to that, each additional one allows you to re-roll a result every failure. So, um, and you also have certain special abilities. So he's going to be using his uh, the stagger claw shooting, which doesn't have actually any special rules, but he's got two, range eight. He's within range. And he's got two shots and he gets, it's, it'll do two damage if it succeeds. So he's got two attacks looking for, uh, Not nope, bad. nothing there. So we got the two, nothing there. So, but because he did allocate something, he can actually shoot the with shotgun. the crew uh, twin, uh, with the crew's boomstick. twin boomstick. Yep. So he's going to have two shots. I'm not he's not within six, so he's not within half range. So, um, so he doesn't get to reroll a failed um, thing. Shots. So now here we go, two shots, getting two successes. Uh, my defense, my armor on my scrap jet is four, so I get to roll four dice, looking for scrap or lightning. I got two. I got got the two scrap there, so those will negate it, therefore doing no damage. All right, so now he has his two uh, dice are allocated to his shock, uh, his shock jump, jump dragster. Drag. Uh, he's got two weapons, both of them in the front arc, and so he is in the front arc. So we're gonna go with the first one here, which is which one? Custom shock rifle. Custom shock rifle within 12 inches, so he's within range. Uh, what is it? Three or two? Two shots. Two shots. If I roll double lightning, so you take a damage before you roll any defense. Oh, okay, cool. And you have to roll one less defense with it. Okay, so it's uh, he rolls. Uh, if he rolls double lightning, I take a damage before he even uh, even roll before it. I even roll my defense dice, and I can only I roll one less defense dice against it. Is that only if it's the double lightning on that too, yeah, or that's just period? That's just period. Yeah. So I, my armor is th uh, four, but I'll be only be rolling three defense dice. So here he goes Let's with his two attacks. Have. I do one. Does get one. So you get three dice. You get three dice because it's minus one because of the uh, the, sh the custom, uh, because rifle. of the shock rifle. And I don't get anything there. So I take a damage. So I do two damage. So I get two cards over here. So we draw the first one here onto my scrap jump jet. Burning. So this is a special one. I place it on the side here. At the beginning of each round, I roll a D8. On a one through four, the fire goes out and I discard this card. Otherwise, I draw another damage card and this stays there and can keep on burning. So it can keep snowballing. I don't take any damage right away with it though. So then we have the next one, which is crunch, which is just a basic one. I take one damage. So I've got one damage. My hits are nine though, so I'm still got eight to go. I should be good to go. And now his rocket launcher is gonna fire here. He gets to reroll one failed attack with this one. Didn't but he doesn't need to. He's got two hits there. I've got four dice again, though, because this one doesn't have that special rule. And I get it with the two scrap. Woo! All right, so in the shooting, I'm going to activate my guys. I'm going to put two onto each of them with my four dice that I had allocated to shooting. We're going to start with him. So he's in my front arc. So I'm going to be doing one on his rocket cannon and one on his wing missiles into him over here. So they're range of 12, which are, he's within range there. So we'll do the rocket cannon first. So it's going to be three shots. Getting two hits. My opponent now has his defense, which is three, right? You have your armor of three. But he, uh, your opponent must reroll one successful uh, defense dice when making defense rolls against this weapon. So he makes one success, one success which he has to reroll, which doesn't make a difference because yeah. even if he did succeed, he's I still going to take the damage. So it's a damage of two for this weapon. So the first one's going to be a crunch, crunch. and the next one's also going to be a crunch. So he takes two damage. Right. And then I have the, the, the um, uh, wing missiles. These are going to have two shots. Uh, it's also two damage, but it doesn't have any special rules. So no rerolls of successful ones there. Ooh, doesn't make a difference because I rolled two scraps. Wah, wah. All right, so now allocating over here onto my custom booster blaster, I'm going to put one onto the rivet cannon and one onto the left burner exhaust, basically shooting flames out of the exhaust, which is pretty cool. Um, and because I've allocated anything, I also have riding shotgun, which means that I can use my stick bombs and grot blaster for free. So we're going to go with the rivet cannon first. Three shots here. 
And because he's within six inches of me, which I believe that might be six yeah. inches, a little bit, he's going to have um, no, minus, he's going to have to reroll one of his successful defense dice. So looking for uh, my regular successes on this one, getting one. So here we go. He's got four defense dice. Oh, it doesn't even matter yeah, if he reels one, one of them. Yeah, he's good to go on that one. It's a burner. And now, because I've got my left burner exhaust is going to go on, I can actually succeed on these rolls with scrap, target, or lightning because it's a burner. So looking for those with two shots as well. So that's going to be two hits. No, uh, no, he doesn't have to reroll anything. So if he gets his two successes, two. he does. He's got three, so he's good to go. Yep. Now we're going to do the stick bombs. Three shots, no special rules. So that's going to be two hits, and but two saves, seven. three successes. Yeah. And the grot blast is rear, so it doesn't actually get to shoot there. Yeah, it's pointed all the way back over that way, so can't get him there. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. Now there is a melee phase, because if you end up within two inches of an opponent, you're going to try to punch each other. So here we go. He's got an initiative, so he'll go first with his melee of three. Getting three hits, pretty good. All right. I've got my four defense, my four armor here. And I get only two, so I take one card per uh, one die left. die left. So it's gonna be one card there. So that's going to give me, the gun is smashed. Model suffers one damage. In addition, place this card next to this model's data card and your opponent can select one of the model's guns, have the range characteristic of that weapon until the end of the battle. Each weapon may only be selected this way once. So which one are you gonna do? The rivet cannon is now only gonna have a six inch range. Womp womp. But now I get to punch him back with my melee of three. Getting three hits, oh boy. Here comes his armor saves. He makes two saves, so he still also takes one. So let's see what happens with him. The gun is smashed. Oh, the gun is smashed as well. So I'm gonna do your shock attack uh, rifle and take him, and he's only have a six inch range on that one as well. Yep. All right, so that's the end of round one. We're now on to round two. I am going to now roll at the beginning of the round for burning. On a one through four, it goes out. On a five through eight, I draw another damage card and it's still on fire. On a five, I am still on fire. So I draw another kit damage card. Crunch, so I suffer one damage. Also, I'm gonna have an additional one to my driving test, which is not great. You are on fire. Because I am, I am literally on fire. All right, dice allocation here on turn two. I put two into Cunning, Three. two into Speeding, and then two into my uh, into uh, shooting. My opponent has put three into uh, three into cunning, four, four into speeding. speeding, and then three, three into shooting. So uh, that is what we're gonna have. So now we're gonna roll off to see who has the cunning. I, I got three cunning. three cunning. I've only got the two because of the lightning strike. So my opponent will go first, or can choose who wants to go first. He will go first. All right, so my opponent is going to put one for speeding into his uh, into his def uh, what is it def killer war, def killer war uh, war track trike and then three into the shock jump dragster. dragster. I'll never get those right. <laughs> so let's go over here first. He gets a success, so he'll get one gubbins. All right, so you're only allowed to when you're you can only back up with this one gubbins for backing up. So you're only allowed to back up once because the idea is you want to. You want always to turn around. Forward. Always want to be going forward, and always want to go fast. So uh, you can back up over here, but when he backs up, he is going to bang, crunch, crunch right into the wall there. So, he's so going to roll that. we will do that. So it's uh, two. two into him over here. Only Getting one. one, so he will take one. What is it? Crunch. Just takes a crunch. And the one into the crate, crate is also wound. going to take a wound. Crate. And then three onto the shock attack over here. He's gonna get ooh, four. four he's gonna get four successes, so he's gonna be moving. And the shock jump dragsta is gonna go right into me over here. So he is going to just go crunch. boom, crunch right into the back of me. All right, so he's gonna have two into running into me over here. Getting two, so I take two damage. Pretty brutal. So the first one is burning again. Oh no. Burning twice. Rolling burning twice now, and then crunch. So I'm hurting, I'm hurting. And then he will take one from me because of doing that. Nope, nothing there. He planned it perfectly. And now he has to take a driving test, so he's gonna have plus one because of the ram. We're good. He's good to go. All right, in my speed and turn, I'm gonna put three into him, one into him. So we'll go with him first. Getting one success. 
All right, so he's gonna activate and go whoop, right up to there. Just shy of it. Just shy of it, making it pretty good. But I do have to take a test because it's plus one because of the special governs. But the, oh, just That's enough. And then the one on the boost blaster. Nope, he's not going anywhere. All right, so now on to the shooting phase. He's gonna allocate of his three dice two into his war boss here. And then he's gonna put one into the shock jump dragster because his uh, one gun that got uh, that's broken is actually only range of six and he's not in range of me and it's only front arc. All right, so we're gonna go over here into the war boss first. He is gonna allocate one into the exhaust because I'm in his rear arc over here. And he's gonna put one into the snag a claw uh, that he's gonna attack into me. And then because of that, the uh, the boomstick is gonna be able to go as well. So we're gonna go with which one first? Kill a jet. Two Kill a jet first, two arc. dice on the rear arc here. One Getting success. one success. And I get three, uh, one success as well. I was looking for Tied. these ones, I was looking for that. So we tied, so we're good to go. And, any arc. and then the snag a claw, any arc on this one. Getting one success. One success. And I get a bunch of yeah, successes yeah. there, I'm good to go. And then the shotgun over here, he gets uh, to reroll one failed attack because he's within half range. That is going to be rerolled. Into two into two successes, uh, but I get it with three successes. Woo! And he's only got the rocket launcher. He can shoot into me because the other gun is half range got now. Smashed. Got smashed that gun. So here we go. Two it's going to be two rerolling, one failed. Reroll that one failed. Into a success. Four defense dice or four armor saves. Making none of them. Oh no! So it's two damage into him. This is not great. First one, burning the third. Oh boy! Burning eight in the country. Burning eight in the countryside and crunching. That's why he did say they are the burninators, and he apparently was not lying. All right, so I'm going to allocate one to him, three to him. So we're going to go with the one back over here. So we're going to go with his rivet cannon. So it's three attacks here. Getting one success, my opponent now has, has to reroll one failed, uh, one successful defense die. Um, uh, yeah, reroll that one, one successful. Yeah. Oh, into a fail, so he does take two damage, which there is gonna be burning burnin and, and burning. Burnin. You're welcome, now you know how I feel. <laughs> Everything's on fire. All right, so now we're gonna have the um, the the uh, stick, bombs. stick bombs. They're gonna get thrown over there. Three attacks, getting two successes. All right, uh, four dice with four dice. Oh, just enough to take care of it. All right, so now he's gonna put all three attack, three front uh, shooting guns into him over here. So we're gonna go with the uh, rocket cannon first. So it's gonna be three attacks, um, and uh, your opponent has to reroll a successful. Um, defense dice. So getting two successes over here. He's only got three armor. But two successes. But two seconds, but you gotta reroll one of those successful oh, ones. Oh no. Yeah, so he takes the two damage. Right, crunch. We got crunch again. And crunch. and crunch again. So he's got four of his eight hits so far. That's pretty, oh, five of his eight yeah. hits. That's pretty brutal. Then we got the twin big shooters. They're gonna get uh, two hits over there. And Nothing. he's gonna take another damage here. So the damage card. Crunch. Crunch it again, ooh. And then the wing missiles, two shots. Oh, oh so close, nothing that. there. He really did, that was two damage. <laughs> All right, so we are in melee range over here, so he's gonna go first since he has the initiative. So he's gonna have four attacks here. Um, he is going to do, uh, but he has a special because he's got that claw. Uh, what happens is every lightning does a damage to me before I do my defense roll. So here we go. All right. I uh, get no three hits, but no lightnings, but three successes is still pretty good. Got my four defense dice here. Getting two of them. So I'm gonna take one go through here. Crunch, I'm hurting, I am hurting. And here comes my melee back into him. Getting one hit, his defense. Getting one defense or two successes, so he is good to go. All right, so that is going to be it for uh, turn two here. Pretty brutal. 
Everything's on fire. <laughs> Vigilus is ablaze. <laughs> so here we go. We're now going to roll for the burn -in. I've got three burn -ins, So I've got a roll here. On a one through four, it goes out. Five through eight, it's going to give me more damage. So here we go. The first one is gone. The second one is a burn-in. Boost is broken. This model suffers one damage. In addition, place this card next to the model's uh, the model's data card. Results of uh, lightning are treated as results of z of uh, of a failure when rolling speed and dice for this model until the end of the battle. Oh no, that ain't great. He's gonna be going slow. And then I've got the next one. Three is gonna go out. So I've still got one burning on me, Almost which is not bad. great. But I am, uh, I am, I'm really hurting here. So he's got two burning on his first guy. The first one is gonna hurt. The gun is smashed, the gun is smashed so on him. Guns. So both his guns on that shock and jump drags that are are broken. But, but the other one goes out. So, but we're both on fire. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, dice allocation. I've got three into cunning, four into speeding, and three into shooting. My opponent has four into cunning, four into speeding, and two into shooting. So let's roll off for our cunning here. I got three successes. He got one, so I have the initiative here, and I am going to choose to go first. All right, so into my speeding phase, I'm going to allocate three to my shock jump, or no, my big track mega, mega, track, mega track scrap jet. jet, and then I'm going to put one into my custom booster blaster. Uh, so we're going to start with the scrap jet here. Remember, because he's got boosters broken, lightnings count as nothing. They're failures for me for this. So looking for only looking for targets. And I got one. Oh, I'm glad I did that. I knew that was going to come down. I was sitting there debating forever whether I was going to do that or not. But I got what I needed. Woo! All right, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to bang into him over here, but end up going this way, like that. So I'm going to take the box, and I'm going to take uh, the shot from him. So we'll do the box first, I guess. Yeah. Right? So it's, what, two from me into it? Uh, three because it's front arc. Three because it's front arc there. Box so the dead. box is dead because it already had taken one damage. One from the box into you, though. And then one from the box into me. No. Nothing there. So now I charged into him. Because I've got the uh, the front screw there, I got plus one to my ramming in the front arc. So here we go. It's going to be three instead of just the two. Getting one uh, hit. So he's got his three. Oh, you just take one damage. Do you not have? Oh, you don't get defense against right. So he takes that. The gun, the is, gun smashed. is smashed, which is not great for him. Um, and I think you're down to like what one? I'm down to one. Down to one over one. here. To the last one, and then you get to do one you back at me. Get to pick which gun. Oh, I get to pick which gun. One second. So I chose to kill a jet so that he can't just like turn around and blast me in the face over there. And then he does the one into me. I get to reroll because you're in my side. And he gets to reroll in because it's in the side arc with his fancy uh, tires over there. Reroll it because this is in the fancy arc. I need it. No, no nothing there. So I'm good to go. Right. Good to go. <laughs> and then the one over here, which is good. I get two of those. Collision burn. Oh, so I got collision. And I forgot to do his driving test. So I got two collisions over here. Plus I'm burning. So it's going to be plus three on one. I'm good to go. So that's what I'm going to do with this one, with his two. So he's just going to go boom and bang into him front over arc, there. So, so that's front arc. And because he's also got that little ram in the front there, I get three into him. So three doing two damage to him, which is pretty good. So he's going to yeah. take the two. Grot's in the mechanism. Oh, Grot's in the mechanism. What's that say? Uh, it's just one damage for this. All right. Well, I'll uh, take a look. So yeah, this model suffers one damage. In addition, place this card next to the model's data card. Your opponent can select one custom job. Oh no, we didn't do any of those custom jobs for this first one. So he just takes a damage for that one. Basically, and then the next one is it's only going left. It's only going left. Oh no! You may not select any straight. This model suffers one damage. In addition, uh, place this card next to your model. Then may not select any straight gubbins when moving this model until the end of the battle. Oh boy, he is going to be swerving what? all over the place. What? Woo! I'll take that! And then he's one into me because I ran into him. Oh, that is going to be a damage to him. So I will draw that onto my custom booster blast. That crunch. All right, so he also take his, take his driving test because I rammed. I am uh, one. No, he's good to go. All right, so my opponent's going to put two and two into them. So we're going to start with him back over here. Getting one or two, two gubbins he can do, but none of them could be straight. <laughs> 
All right, so my opponent's going to use his uh, snazzy govins over here, and then he's going to use a little curved piece over here. So he's just going to go whoop, boom, and ran right into me over there. So because he uh, sideswiped me there, he's going to get two, getting two two damage onto me, which is pretty good. It's really hurting me. Crunch. And crunch, I'm down to one wound left on him. And then the one onto him. No, nothing there. And then the two for the boss. He's gonna get one. And then we've got his driving test over here. So he did ram into me. He also had uh, he also had the, the snazzy gubbins over there. On a one, he's good to go. And he's gonna go like this, scraping himself along the wall over there, right into that one. So you do have, uh, you suffer the, the attack, right? So it's two into this thing. And I re-roll one of these. Re-rolls one arc. of these, because it's a side. Re-roll one of them. Nope, so he's just gonna take one, one damage. damage. There. And then into the second one over here. That's gonna re-roll one of those Which into two. This so one. this one ex uh, gets knocked away. Yep. But then he's gonna have two into him because of those two that knocked back. And he takes one, which I think is the last one possibly for his guy. So, yeah. We're gonna find out, one second. And then his card, no, no the, the gun, gun is smashed, smash. so he takes the damage, so he is dead. What's the range on your explodes? Three, Three inches, so nobody is gonna be there, but he is dead, so he's just kaput. boom. All right, so shooting, I'm going to allocate onto him. He's got, he is in my front arc, so all three are going to go into him because he's not in range for anything. All right, so it's going to be evenly allocated between the rocket cannon, the twin big shooter, and the wing missile. So we're going to do the rocket cannon first. So it's going to be three shots here. That's going to be three hits. He has to reroll one of his successful dice here. Reroll one of, the, oh, it doesn't make a difference. So he's going to go through. So that is going to be two damage to him over here. Crunch. The first one is crunch. And the next one is crunch, crunch as well. All right, so now the twin big shooter is gonna get two hits there. But two defense, he's good. good. And then we've got the wing missile. It's gonna be firing in here, two shots. Oh, nothing. He's good, Woo. he survives. And now into the melee phase. I have an issue, so I go first. My three attacks are gonna get two hits. Four defense. Four defense. Getting one, one defense, so he takes one, one damage. What's it gonna be? Uh, it is the front fell off. The front fell off. What does that do? Uh, roll one fewer die for Rams. You one fewer fewer uh, die for Rams, and he and takes a damage. damage. Ooh, killer! Two left. And then he's attacking back at me. Getting two, two hits. Seven. My defense dies. Getting oh two successes, so I'm good to go. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're burning still. So that's the end of round three. Now into the bur the beginning of round uh, four, right? One, yeah. two, oh something like that. Whatever it is, we're on to another round. Here we go. But I am still burning. That ooh, one second. All right, so if this is not a burning, I'm dead. Burning, so he's still oh. alive. Oh. Ah! Oh, but I mean, it's not looking great, but he's and still alive. Burning. And then you're burning. A five is going to take another damage. Driver wounded. Driver wounded? What does that do? Can't use snazzy gubbins. And Can't use snazzy gubbins test. and plus one to driving test. So, uh, yeah, not not great. And what do you, that's like, you're down to one wound is left, right? Well. Oh, man, both of us are down to one wound. Crazy! All right, so dice allocation. I put three into cunning. Six into speeding and one into shooting. My opponent put four into cunning and six, six into six. speeding. He's just trying to make it to the end over here to try to get the win. So uh, let's roll now for our cunning. Whoop. Got two. I got two as well, so we're gonna have to re-roll. I got two. Oh, so I got it again. Oh, that's killer. All right, so for my speed and roll, I'm gonna put four into him, two into him. So we're starting with this guy. Remember, I can't, lightning's count is nothing for me. I need yeah, I to get targets. And I got, no, 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 he's not going anywhere. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. Here we go. Getting one. Here he comes, the halo, the, the Hail Mary here. <laughs> We have to go with this. So he goes all the way up over this way. And then, oh, he 
oh, yeah. close from getting the ram. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no! All right, so I have to take my driver's test here. So it's going to be plus two because of that, and he's good to go. And now he gets to go with all of his speeds. He's going to get one, two, three. Only three. Oh boy, he's still around. We'll see what happens. All right, so here comes his his roll here. He's going along. Yeah. He just just makes oh. it through. Oh. Well, well, actually, did I clip it or no? I think you do. Oh no, he clipped it. Uh, We're gonna see what happens here. One. Let's see if he ran into that box. Do I kill the box? Does he kill the box? He do does kill, kill the, box. the box. But does the box kill him? It does. Oh. Oh, no. Well, it could it be, burning. be burning. It could be burning. But it's no. not driver wounded. Oh no, so he explodes. And with yes. that, the glacial gits <laughs> are just gonna take a victory lap and just cruise on onto victory over here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this game is a ton, a ton of fun. Oh my God, we've just been laughing our butts off this entire time. Going back and you've got all the rolls that are going on, things are exploding, everybody's on fire. <laughs> so much fun, so much fun. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend this to anyone who's, who bought that box just to get the, just to get the wagons for their, their army. Go play, it. Go play it. Seriously do it. It's so much fun. And this is like super quick. You saw how it all set up. And if you don't have to film it, it's even quicker. <laughs> the rules are super simple to pick up, but they're, they're, they're fun and nuanced the way you get to play with them and move it around. A ton of fun, a ton of fun. So um, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I absolutely certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Harris. And until next time, have fun.